Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. To create a new segment, navigate to the left-hand rail, hover over User Segments, and go to User Segments. You can then select New Segment in the top right. Once you arrive on the Segment Builder screen, you can start creating real-time groupings of users or audiences based on set criteria that you define. I'll walk through some of the most widely used options. Campaigns allows you to target based off of actions related to any specific campaign or experience in regard to the number of times it was engaged with, or the most recent engagement based on a specific lookback window. Actions allows you to segment off behavior related to any actions that were built out in the implementation during the action mapping process. If you're unsure of what actions you have available, check out the actions report. Some examples here could be a segment based on the number of completed form submissions, page views, email registration, and then you can further break down those actions within a specific time frame, or even the amount of time since an action was first completed for a particular visitor. Visits has many of the same options as actions. However, there's also an option for visit source, which is commonly used to trigger campaigns based off the source that brought our user to your site in the first place. Now the next few are specific to your implementation. However, items is one of the most flexible options available for segmentation. It allows you to capture audiences from any of the below criteria, including time spent, based on any defined time period. Finally, while I'm on this screen, I'll build a quick segment to provide an understanding of the process beginning to end. I'm located in Boston and want to build a segment that qualifies me as an audience member. To do this, I select location, in, and then either metro region or city, depending on my preference, and Boston. And then to finish up, you give the segment a name and click Save. For more information, check out the Knowledge Base to access anything about Interaction Studio, where everything is searchable by keyword. You can also sign up for guided in-depth lessons of core functionality at ecampus.evergage.com. To stay up to date with upcoming videos of new capabilities, make sure to like and subscribe.